Well, I would use the word patience. You are going into this blind. You have no idea what you're in for. And if right off the bat you uh, commit to just listening to each other and being patient in how you rebuild your way of loving each other and connecting and you have to learn from scratch so as you're doing that be really patient and I would also say something we learned how to do better was to trust each other completely wholly because fear is the third person in the room throughout the entire battle and each person deals with fear differently and it sometimes depends on the time of day how you're feeling and so when you can learn to just trust that the other person is a safe harbor that you can lean into them and fall sometimes on top of them and know that they've got you that was everything in those moments just to know that you had someone to shore you up when you weren't able to stand on two feet and it's not just the cancer patient that that happens to you know, you have that feeling too, or like, I don't know how to get up this morning, I don't know how to face another day, I don't know how to deal with this fear. And so, leaning on each other and trusting each other, that was a huge part of us getting through it. Yeah. And it, it seems intuitive just to say, you know, just <coughs> love her and take care of her and hold her, and that's, that's all true. Uh, but you, you have to constantly be evolving and learning and knowing how to, to try different things and figure out is that what she needs. Uh, you, it's, it's never the same. It's, it's always a different, uh, a kind of a different mode you're in based on what's happening. Uh, as her dad said, Andrew, you need to become the Teflon man. <laughs> so, you know, and a after a while, it, the scary part starts to, to uh, go away and an incredible, loving, connected feeling takes over.